What's happening guys? So today I am actually at Shangri-La Hotel and I'm here to have a fine dining experience at their Italian restaurant which is called as Sorrento. So yeah, let's see how the experience is. I'm pretty excited because I love Italian food and that is like one of my favorite cuisine after North Indian. So yeah, let's see how the experience is. The hotel looks pretty cool and then check this out what they have here. That's a Rolls Royce. So yeah, it's gonna be a pretty fancy and a good experience. So stay tuned for the vlog. menu that they have here at Sorrento in uh, Shangri-La Hotel so you have some choices from salad then you have something from pasta and then you select your main course from this and then you have the dessert and you know gelatos yeah. so a salad is finally here you ordered two types of salad and like chef can you please tell us about what this is this is the crudo beer salad which is having crudo beers inside the crudo itself means a rock Okay. So it gives the flavor of raw ingredients as well as the salad texture will be crisp. So it is having pears, arugula leaves, pomegranates, goat cheese, blueberries. So it's mostly a raw, uh, raw salad, ingredients which are there. texture or something like that. So guys, let's see how the taste is. So guys, I'm trying the first bite. So like the chef said, all the ingredients were, you know, our raw ingredients. So it's giving a very fresh taste and a very nice refreshing taste, you know, so that you have a good start to the whole four course meal. And yeah, I'm going to try something with olive oil put in this. So let's see how that is. So guys, I'm trying this with the olive oil added to it, like the chef recommended. You should definitely add olive oil to it. I like the taste enhances and I'll just enjoy the salad and then let's see what's there in the next course. Stay tuned. So guys, this is the second kind of salad that we're having. So chef, what's the name of this salad? So this is the hand-crafted uh, mozzarella salad along with tomatoes, arugula, pesto and salt and pepper that's it. So this is a simple salad which gives you a lot of flavor of tomatoes and brings towards the taste. If you have a taste in the So the ingredients are a little less as compared to that. Little less as compared to that, but it will be full of flavors. Like Italian people like a lot of tomatoes, mm -hmm. eating tomatoes, uh, lettuce, all these things they want to have in their right. So, guys, this is the second kind of salad that we are having. So guys, the chef is now going to show us how to make a calzoni, so stay tuned, enjoy the clip. And yeah, it should be a nice experience for you guys. So guys, they've given me a hat because hygiene is very important. So yeah, let's see how the experience goes. So guys, we have the main ingredients here, which is a tomato sauce. Then you have a spicy salami. What's this chef? Cheese. Buffalo ricotto. Buffalo, buffalo ricotto. And then this. Smoke is come out, sir. Okay, black and that's pepper. black pepper. Okay. Alright, so the chef is going to tell us how the thing is being made. Buongiorno, welcome to Sorrento. Uh, today we will do uh, calzone napoletano. So, what means calzone? Calzone in Italian means uh, trouser. This Continue. is the base for the whole yes. thing. So, this is a pizza base. Yeah. Okay. Calzone is a simple pizza base. With First, we're putting buffalo cheese. Then we put black pepper. So guys, then we add black pepper to this. Then we grate the scamorza, fresh smoked scamorza. 
we give a smoky flavor to the to the dough and to the filling. We put the spicy salami. This is a pork pork. Now we close the the dough. So guys, the dough is closed and it's like a closed pizza. We well seal the the dough here. And we spread with the and then the tomato sauce is applied. So guys, it is ready and now the you know it's going into the baking oven. Okay. So guys, the calzone is ready. Stravirgin olive oil. Italian cuisine is only stravirgin olive oil. This kind of calzone you can eat like a sandwich. So by the hands, not by the fork, by the hands. By hand. Yes. So guys, the calzone is ready, and we're supposed to have this by hand. You know, Italians generally use a fork and knife, but then this thing, chef is you know specially told us to have it with hand. And then you already seen the ingredients which are there, so I don't need to tell you that. So yeah, let's see how the taste is. Guys, trust me, it's a cheese overload. So they put buffalo ricotta in this. That's the thing which is like the highlight of the dish, lifting the whole taste of the dish. And yeah, let me just try one more bite now. So this time the salami has come. So this is a good start to the whole. Like we had the salad, which was a good refreshment for the focus meal. So guys, I just got done with some amazing calzone, and now the chef is going to take us. You know, he's preparing a salmon, which is the chef's special here. So let's see. Stay tuned. How they make it, and then you know the taste test, of course. So guys, now we are trying the chef's special, which is baked salmon and asparagus. So you have salmon here, then asparagus, and then you have you know dried asparagus. Then you have lemon dressing, potatoes, pumpkin puree, and of course, you know any Italian dish is incomplete without extra virgin olive oil. Before we added roast the, the salmon, then I will roast the asparagus. asparagus. Then it will take seven to eight minutes. We cook the salmon before on the skin side. Okay, we will make the uh, salmon into oil. salt. A little bit of black pepper. So this is not big. This is no, this is just to make the, 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 the crispiness of the skin. Crispy. And then it's later baked in the oven, you know, for seven to eight minutes, like the chef said. And it's fish on a grill. So guys, now we are grilling the asparagus and the potatoes. Again, with extra virgin olive, olive oil. No butter, no other thing. Healthy food is extra virgin olive oil, is not uh, uh, butter, not cream. Italian cuisine is only extra, extra virgin oil. oil. Eat well, stay well. This is the big message of Mediterranean diet. So I want to give you the right information. Eat well, stay well, please. So Come to Sorrento and you will have this experience. <laughs> okay. I will put some dust of uh, asparagus. In this way we have a green and orange. Guys, the dish is ready and the salmon is finally baked. So let's see how the taste is now. Guys, I'm trying the first bite from my baked salmon. So let's see how the taste is. So I put some pumpkin sauce in this. Hello. 
like from the taste of it the salmon is very fresh and like how the crispiness is coming because of the you know heating it on the pan first baked salmon is like one of the best salmon because you know while you bake it you know the taste does not go and you know the actual taste raw taste of salmon which is there it remains so you always if you go for fish just try for the baked fish you know that should be your priority and that is my priority whenever i have fish so guys this is the dessert that we are having it's called pizza pearl so you have fried pizza pieces and, and then you know after that it's rolled in sugar then you have nutella and walnuts and pomegranate so yeah let's see how the taste is so guys i'm trying the pizza pearl oh my god so yeah one reaction here she's already tasted the oh my what do you have to say about this it's amazing it's <laughs> heavenly what do you think this was I know most of you guys like Nutella, but this this is like a heaven overload, you know. I just have one more before it finishes. <laughs> like it's very crispy. It's not chewy. The chef told us, you know, you're supposed to have it like as quickly as possible because it becomes chewy. But then the whole combination of the sugar and the deep fried pizza and with Nutella. Like really amazing. If you come here, do try this. There were two dishes which I liked the most. One was the baked salmon. So do try that whenever you come. And the second was the pizza pearl. So these were Chef Pascal's recommendation. He's the head chef here of Sorrento. So you can try that whenever you come here. So guys, we have ordered a gelato as well. So this is a Belgian gelato with some crisp on it. So let's see how the taste is of this. So I'm trying the Belgian chocolate gelato. Like what can go wrong with a gelato, you know, especially with chocolates. What's happening, guys? So I know I'm ending the vlog on a different day, but then ending was necessary, and I can't miss that. So my overall experience at Shangri-La was very nice, including the cost in mind for super lunch. You know, the cost was just 1500 plus taxes for one person. So that's a very good deal, guys. If you're fond of a good Italian food, do check out Sorrento in Shangri-La Hotel. And yeah, so my overall rating that I would like to give this hotel will be 8.5 out of 10, and I think for the cost, 9 out of 10. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell notification on so that you guys know when my video is going live. See you in the next vlog. Bye.